Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for August, okay? So this could happen at any time in August. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you, okay? So this reading may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And the timing is fluid. So what do we have for Scorpio for August? What do we have for Scorpio for August? Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change could be dealing with an ass vase you have a secret admirer rooster an arrogant boastful person you should not cross so you have somebody around you that is a pest right this person is a pest they're annoying uh, you may be annoyed by this person. They're very arrogant. They're also stubborn and they are unwilling to change. This person may be pecking you. They may be poking you. They may be chasing you. So they're doing something. Uh, you may want to get away from them. Uh, it's, it seems like it's very annoying. It's like you probably can't even stand to hear their voice. Um, but you also have a secret admirer here. So there is a secret admirer around you. What do we have? I, and I don't know if you're dealing with the Pisces because I wanted to say Pisces. I don't know if you're dealing with the Pisces. Could be. Anyhow, what do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Something about an ex, their ex. So I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who is dealing with their ex. This person may have anger issues because of their ex. Ooh, we have a liar. We have a liar here. We definitely do. We have a liar. Somebody that lies a lot. Pathological liar. Oh, we also have some fantasy land. So we got somebody that is in fantasy land. They're in illusion. That's Disneyland, right? There's a need to come back to reality. Come back to reality here. Uh, one more card. One more card. And there it is. Ooh, that's a good one. New love entering your life. So for some of you, there's a new love here. Could also be a reconciliation or it could be a new start in your love life. If you're with somebody already, this could be stepping it up to the next level, you know, deepening a bond with somebody, renewing, you know, renewing a love contract with somebody. It could be whatever this is. It's like a whether it's somebody brand new or somebody that you're already with. This is like a renewal in love. OK, um, it could be somebody brand new, though. I feel like it's brand new for some of you. Um, there's an ex in the picture here, though. We have somebody here that is really, really focusing on their ex. And they may need to, you know, obviously stop doing that because it's fantasy. It's illusion. We could have somebody here that is lying to themselves. You know, we definitely have a liar here. Somebody may be communicating with their ex and they're hiding it. We have reach out. It fell out of the deck. We know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help where offered as it is about emotional benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support however it is presented to you. There's somebody around you that uh, probably wants to help you or can help you to heal from something, but I feel like you're not allowing it. You may need to be able to accept their help you know, uh, very interesting. You need to be able to receive. And I feel like you, you're not allowing yourself to relieve, to receive. There is new love entering your life, but it feels like 
Oh, it's a secret admirer here. There is a secret admirer here. Maybe you haven't met this person yet, but there's an ex involved. There's an ex involved that doesn't tell the truth, may have fed you some sort of illusion, some sort of fantasy, and, and maybe you have to uh, see it for what it is. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Soulmate. So you have a soulmate connection here. Yes, this is your soulmate. So you do have a soulmate connection here. You need to express your love. Make the romantic gesture. Yeah, I feel like you are also, some of you are holding on to an ass. This is somebody that is very boastful. You know, they are arrogant. They're stubborn and they're not going to change. Secret admirer would suggest that you have somebody else okay same with new enter new love entering your life um i feel like there's some self-deception here as well with a liar right next to fantasy land i feel like there's self-deception um what do we have for scorpio now, I also want to say Virgo, so I don't know if you guys have a Virgo that is coming into your life or somebody that has a lot of Virgo in their chart. I feel like for some of you, you've been dealing with a Pisces, and I don't know if it's a Pisces or somebody that has strong Pisces in your chart, in their chart. This person is stubborn. They're arrogant. They may lie to you about things. Two of Pentacles reversed. Now, that is a choice. Uh, overcommitted to something, having a hard time juggling. We have a juggler here that is overcommitted to something. You know, they, they need to make a choice. You can't have both. You, you're holding on to something that is bringing an imbalance to your life. There's something that you need to let go of to have balance. Um, nine of Pentacles. Two, lovers reversed. The moon. Five of Wands reversed. King of Wands reversed. King of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Cups. High Priestess. Magician reversed. It's a no. Something isn't panning out. The Star reversed and the Four of Swords reversed. The Star reversed is depleted. It's drained. It's self-doubt it's it's not getting what you asked for this is not what i asked for this is four of swords is extremely frustrated the death of a situation the end of a situation i feel like there's no help you're not getting what you asked for you're in a situation that is draining you it is very much draining you i feel like you're dealing with somebody that is hiding something pisces right in the middle with that moon card could be pisces could be cancer you may and, and this could be somebody that you're living with we have a contract the, the lover's reverse that is not compatible. There's a lot of arguing. There's a lot of fighting. There's no uh, unity here. I feel like there's going to be a separation. We go from lover's reverse, nine of pentacles, from a partnership to single, independent. Uh, somebody may be becoming independent. You know, they're focusing on themselves. There's a need to focus on yourself. There's a need to come out of fantasy. The middle card is that moon card, which is illusion. It's fantasy. There's also some fear here. I feel like you are, uh, maybe you're, you, you need to uh, obviously be practical. Not King of Pentacles reversed. There's somebody here that needs to be practical. You need to stop causing yourself pain. The Five of Wands reversed. It's like you're holding on. You're causing yourself pain. You're holding on to a contract which is causing you to bleed. Okay, you, you can choose to let go at any time. So, I don't know. You could also be dealing with a Libra. Or you may have Libra in your chart because this is very similar to Libra's. I feel like you need to make a, you need to make a decision, you know, to stop uh, giving somebody your energy. It feels like you know, you know that this is an illusion. You know that this is fantasy, but the bond is strong, right? There, there, maybe there's a strong sexual lusty attraction to this person. Um, I feel like uh, all is not as it seems. There is something that is hidden. You know that there is something that is hidden. Maybe, maybe uh, somebody is hiding their true selves. They're hiding who they truly are. They're hiding something. 
Um, this is somebody that is very manipulative. It could definitely be a pathological liar, magician reverse next to the moon card. Okay, that could, this is somebody that is very skilled at manipulation. Okay, they are able to, very secretive. They're able to hide things. We have the high priestess, the moon, and the magician reverse. You're dealing with somebody that is extremely secretive. This person may be very mysterious to you. You have some sort of pull, some sort of attraction to this person. But I feel like it's causing you a lot of imbalance in your life with the first card out, the two of pentacles reversed. I feel like this is too much. It's overwhelming. You can't keep holding on to this this uh, situation. It's like you're on this teeter-totter, up and down, up and down. Get off the teeter-totter. Stop playing. You're dealing with somebody who plays with you. This is a player. Whether you live with this person, whether whoever this person is, you got a player here. This player is, I don't know if this player um, has some mental health issues or what. I do feel like there's going to be a separation whether you, from somebody. We have somebody here that's going to be separating. They may want to be alone. There could be some fighting going on, a lot of tension, dealing with a lot of tension in, in whatever environment you're in. It could be at work or it could be at home. I do see tension. I see, I see two people that definitely do not see eye to eye. We have the lovers reversed and the king of wands reversed and the king of pentacles reversed. You know, there's, this is this is uh, disagreements, uh, both wanting to be in control, control issues, you know. I feel like uh, that's the biggest struggle is who's the boss, who's the boss. I also feel like there could be a same-sex relationship here. Somebody may be uh, engaging with somebody of the same sex while they're in, you know, a partnership with the opposite sex as well. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So I think that and they may, 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 maybe they're hiding it. Maybe they're hiding that. Um, I also feel like uh, uh, you want to have a relationship with somebody that is very much uh, likes their independence, you know, or somebody does. Somebody wants to be, there's one person here that wants to be in a relationship and there's one person here that also wants to be very, wants their independence, you know. We got the Nine of Pentacles mirroring the High Priestess. Those are both very independent in energies. This is somebody that is very intuitive, very, uh, um, deep we have somebody here that is very much focused on themselves is chooses to be single would does not want to give up their singlehood they maybe they, so we may even have somebody here that is in a partnership but they act like they're single or they pretend that they're single you know with the fantasy land and there's 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 definitely some somebody here that is uh, lying about their status okay and whether they're lying to you or they're lying to another person we have seriously have a liar here okay with the magician reverse and that liar card in the moon card we got somebody here that lies a lot this person is very unstable they ha they're very secretive they have a lot of secrets and I feel like you've been playing games with this person we have the two of Pentacles reverse and the five of wands reverse those are both gamer cards okay juggling is a game and tug of war is a game okay so I feel like you've been playing games with a, with a partner whether the, the whether this is a love partner or it's a family member or a work partner whoever it is you've been playing games with somebody who I feel like you're also dealing with a narcissist this person is self-righteous they are self-centered they are conceited they are materialistic they like they thrive on competition they like to be the boss they aren't experienced to be the boss but they are the boss you know what I mean so they they think they are the boss anyway I feel like you are uh, going to be dealing with some tension with this person in August whoever you're dealing with doesn't really want to be in a relationship they don't want I me mean, whether it's a lover or a person you work with or they don't want to be in a partnership with you they don't want to work with you they don't they don't they don't or they don't want to be in a partnership with the person they're with there there's definitely some lies there's deception there's manipulation there's uh, biting off more than you can chew maybe maybe you've bitten off more than you can chew or you're dealing with somebody that has bitten off more than they can chew there's some sort of secret here the secret is going to be revealed which is going to cause a fight 
if somebody has been cheating, and it, and it could be with somebody from the other, you know, opposite sex or same sex or something like that, it's probably going to be revealed. Um, I feel like this is why, why, why is this happening? Um, I feel like there's um, going to be an ending uh, with us four of swords. I think that you're, this is like, it's almost like sick. It, it's, it is, it's like sick, it's poor health. Somebody's health may be declining, their health may be declining because when you uh, fight all the time and you're not in your complete self, right, and when you can't be yourself, when you're in a partnership and you can't be yourself, it causes stress. And I do see extreme stress here. Somebody's extremely stressed out because they can't be themselves. You know, they can't, they're not able to be themselves. And I feel like there's going to cause, there's going to be a fight that causes a separation or something like that. Um, there's no balance here. There's no uh, unity. There's secrets. There's lies. There's deception. There's uh, control. We have somebody here that has done something illegal, you know, with the King of Pentacles reversed. They're very self-centered. With the king of wands as well there's this is somebody that doesn't they're really not focused on a relationship they're not and i feel like we have one person that wants to have a relationship but they're dealing with another person that may want to have a relationship with somebody you know somebody else i feel like you need to follow your intuition Make sure you're not lying to yourself. Make sure you're not in fantasy land. You may, may need to look a little bit deeper. I mean, obviously with the moon card that's ruled by the shadow, there's something that is hidden here. You need to look deeper. You need to look deeper. Whoever you're dealing with is angry. They're angry. There could be some violence here because this person is really not happy. They're really not happy in the partnership that they are in. Some of you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Pisces a lot. Gemini, a couple times. This is a false contract. There's no compatibility. There's no unity. These two people don't see eye to eye. It could be like a false you know, connection. It's like, it's lies, 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 lies. And I feel like you do have a new love here that could potentially be your future soulmate if you can recognize the truth. Your partner, whoever this person is, may have met their soulmate. You know, I don't know if it's your partner or if it's somebody that you live with. There's definitely a secret admirer here that is behind the scenes that is um, going to be causing some tension in your life. And you may say, why is this happening? Why is this happening? Or somebody is saying, why is this happening? It's because this isn't wish fulfillment. We have somebody here that is in a situation that, you know, they need to focus on themselves. They need to wake up. They need to go within and and heal from some sort of deception. But there's no healing here. There's no healing because it's like, this is, it's like, it's almost like I feel like this is my soulmate when I think you've got another soulmate. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. There is going to be a fight. There is definitely going to be a fight. Somebody has been hiding something, a relationship. Get prepared for some chaos because it's going to be chaotic. There's going to be a separation that you don't see it coming. This is unplanned. You know, I think that something has happened that, you know, wasn't planned. This wasn't planned, but there's some sort of new connection here. And there's really nothing you can do about it. Whether it's you or, what, or the other person or somebody that you live with. I feel like you are going to be receiving an offer from somebody that is looking for a relationship. They're looking for love, but you may be angry. You may be angry. You may think this other person was the one or something like that. So I feel like you're going to need to really listen to your intuition. You're going to need to follow your heart. You're going to need to open your heart. 
I feel like you definitely have a narcissist here that I don't know if you're living with this person or whatnot. This person uh, doesn't really act like they're in a relationship or they don't want to be in a relationship. Some of you have been focusing on somebody that does not want a partnership. And you need to focus on yourself. You need to go within. You need to take a time out. You need to reflect on everything that has happened. You need to stop giving somebody your energy. You need to stop playing with this person. Don't play. It's exhausting. Exhausted, fed up, depleted, draining. This person doesn't really... Uh, give you what you need so why 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 allow them to have that much control over you there's going to be some sort of separation or fight or argument with a person that you know wants to win they they want to win they're causing you pain i feel like you have feelings for this person and you need to look deeper because this person is I don't know what they're doing, but it feels like they they either want to be single or they tell people they're single, you know, or they act like they're single. They like this is a player. You're dealing with a player. You really need to go within. You need to go within and reflect and observe and step back from the situation. You have some sort of support around you, somebody that admires you, that can help you to heal from this false connection that was built on lies. But you have to open up your heart. I feel like this month you're going to be dealing with some sort of separation. It may have something to do with a father figure. You know, I don't know if there's a, if some of you are because of these kings. Kings are typically fathers or or some bosses. You could have problems with your boss or problems with your father. You know, the, your, your boss is going through a separation and it causes havoc or your, or your father is going through a separation and it causes some sort of havoc for you. Get prepared for some havoc, okay? There's some lies that have been hidden that are going to be exposed and it's going to cause some conflict in a foundation that you are in. Good luck.